our first act, all the way from Canada, Shelley Rose Chabay. <laughs> Quite a while ago, minus 2 BC, two years before COVID. Yeah, yeah. So I was sitting on the dock at the lake, having a gin and tonic with my friend, when all of a sudden a pair of dragonflies flittered by. And they were doing this. Now, they were clearly doing it, but it looked like they were doing it at the wrong end. So I went up the stairs into the cottage and I Googled the sex life of dragonflies. And the first headline I came across, and you can find this too, said, female dragonflies feign death to avoid having sex. <laughs> I can relate to that, can't you? I mean, I have feigned a headache I feigned a period, but I can't get away with that anymore for obvious reasons. <laughs> but the dragonfly sisters, they go whole hog. <laughs> They'll be flying, and in midair, they freeze, plummet to the earth, and take a death row pause, pose just to get rid of male suitors. And I thought, what is that all about? Well, apparently what happens when the male dragonflies are looking to mate, they enter the swamp and there's hundreds of thousands of dragonflies and they've got to find just the right species. So when they do, they grab on to the back of the female's neck like grim death and then their penis is at the top of their thorax and it's barbed, it's barbed. <laughs> And the first thing the male dragonfly does is scrape out of the female all sperm that may have been previously deposited. <laughs> then comes a time to impregnate the female but the problem for the male dragonfly is that this penis, the sperm is nowhere near this penis. The sperm is in a gland at the bottom of the abdomen. So the male's hanging on to the female. He's got his penis up here, and he has to heave up the sperm from the gland at the bottom of the abdomen to get it into the proper position, somewhat the same way as a cat corks up a hairball. So then the male dragonfly does the deed and is so happy with himself, he flies away, forgetting the cardinal rule of dragonfly reproduction, which is last in, first out. <laughs> So then he comes back and flies around the female to prevent other males from doing what it just did. So why am I telling you this? After I looked this up, it occurred to me that this was akin to professional speaking, training, and facilitating. <laughs> you see, first of all, you got to grab your audience's interest while they're looking at their phones or whatever else they do and hang on to it. And then you take your metaphorical intellectual penis <laughs> and scrape out whatever was in there before. <laughs> then you need, of course, to dig deep to your fertile well of ideas and strategies and stories. And then you gotta get a look. <laughs> into the right form so that you can impregnate your audience with your 
ideas and strategies and stories. And then you got to hover around them and send them videos and blogs so that no one else can fertilize them. <laughs> so the next time you're in front of your audience, I want you to think. <laughs>